point of this uh, technology, when, when we create this, the first thing was to reduce the consumption compared to uh, the Prate Whitney. One of the stars of the show was undoubtedly the TurboTech TBR90 turbine while burning just 35 litres an hour at 75% uh, power setting and weighing in an impressive 86.5 kilos. Everyone on the slam was super busy, as you can imagine all of the manufacturers wanted to speak to him, so we managed to snatch just a few seconds with Cyril Journet to find out a little bit more about this engine. We'll be bringing you more on this in the future. The TP R90 must be one of the stars of the show this year. Yeah, completely. Like everybody are speaking about us, so the people and also the aircraft manufacturer. So this is super nice for us because uh, it's exactly that. It's the second year that we have a real product, and it's the first year that we have also some uh, experience in the fly. So like the MB aircraft and also Bristol, so we have 100, uh, 100 hours fly experience. So we start to be a bit confident about this, and this is super nice. Brilliant. So these, I guess the, the big things on the show that we saw was, was one of these in the in the front of a Robin. In the front of a Robin. Yeah. yeah. So that, that, that's, I mean, presumably you must have had a lot of manufacturers coming to visit you. Yeah, yeah, this year it's amazing and like uh, bah, that's why we are not a lot uh, actually in uh, my stand because like yeah, the, everybody are searching for a new contract with uh, the, the aircraft manufacturer. So we are speaking uh, with uh, every guy that they want this on our turbine because actually yeah, this turbine, it's the future. We have multi-fuel acceptations, we have also super uh, low capacity consumption, so this is really nice. So I guess the, the, the breakthrough is really the fact that the fuel consumption yeah. for, for a turbine that's like remarkably low fuel consumption. Yeah, that's the point of this uh, technology. When, when we create this, the first thing was to reduce the consumption compared to uh, the Prate Whitney ones. This, of course, for ultralight world, it will not be uh, acceptable. So we have a key of the technology inside of the exchanger. It's the heat exchanger and we reuse the gas so you can see on the little uh, drawing that we, with this technology, we are able to reduce by two compared to normal jet prop and have uh, quite similar as Rotax consumptions. I mean, I guess the other challenge engines like this, you mentioned the uh, engine is not a cheap engine. Really, if you want one of these turbines in a little you can. If it costs the same as a brown it's a little bit more than a Rotax, but it's a jet prop, so it's super low compared to Prate Whitney, and uh, it's quite competitive with Rotax because, of course, we have TBO at 3,000 hours, so it's the double of the, the Rotax, and uh, who, who don't love turbine? turbine yeah. So, see, there's a lot of white space there. Yeah. So, do you think uh, next year it'll be like TB 200, TB 200, 500? Yeah, I don't, maybe in two years and stuff like this, yes. But uh, first we have this for ultralights, it's completely fine. And then we will first get the certification and then we will went uh, for a more powerful plane to have a contract with a serious or a big uh, company like this. Yes. Brilliant. Cyril, thank you very much. You're welcome.